Hello everyone, in this video we will take a look at how you can use Nmap more effectively. But before we start, what is Nmap? Nmap Network Mapper is an open source tool used for network security assessments by red teamers. It provides information about the hosts and services on a target network, allowing red teamers to understand the target's infrastructure and identify potential vulnerabilities. Nmap can perform various types of scans, including host discovery, port scanning, and version detection to gather information about the target network. It can also be used to detect open ports and potential security threats, giving red teamers insight into areas that may be exploited during an assessment. With its detailed information about the target network, Nmap is a valuable tool for red teamers looking to understand the target's environment and identify opportunities for attack. In a nutshell, we will perform a stealth SYN scan, detect the operating system and version on a specific IP address, and resume scans while saving results in Nmap's own file format. We will also cover using Nmap and the Vulners script to explore known vulnerabilities and using idle IP addresses as zombies for scanning targets. Finally, we will be covering Nmap's XML output to human-readable formats using the XSL TPROC tool. So let us look at five different techniques that will help you get the most out of using Nmap. The first thing we'll look at is performing a stealth SIM scan, OS, and version detection with Nmap on a specific IP address. The second thing we'll look at is resuming Nmap scans, saving results in Nmap's own file format. The third thing we'll look at is exploring known vulnerabilities with Nmap and Vulner's script. The fourth thing we'll look at is using idle IP address as zombie to scan a target. And the fifth thing we'll look at is converting XML to human readable formats using the XSL TPROC tool. So without further ado, let's jump in. So as you can see, we're running Kali and we're going to be using Nmap showing you the first specific technique that you can use. So by providing the minus SSV, minus PN, minus ON, minus A, minus R, we are specifying the IP address, and then we want to save all of the outputs into an XML file. So this powerful one-liner is going to aggressively bypass any firewall, extract more information about the operating system, and determine also the service and the version running, saving everything into an XML file, so that then you can convert it and use it more efficiently. So as you can see, the results are now done and you have a really massive recon results saved into an XML file that you can also investigate and extract more sensitive information about the target, planning your next attack using the specific methodologies. So combining everything in one line is really crucial. So now we're gonna show you how you can actually Resume a scan that has been interrupted. So by providing the minus P for defining the port 80 and 443, then followed by the IP address, let's say you're gonna create a normal scan and you wanna wait for the whole subnet to resume. As you can see, we gave it a slash 24 for the subnet, minus O and capital N to save the scan. So we're saving it in the extension that Nmap uses, which is .nmap, and as soon as you do this, Assuming you are actually performing the scan, it took 9 seconds, all of the information have been saved into a save underscore scan dot nmap. So after we interrupted the scan, now we're going to provide it with a minus minus resume in order to continue from where it left. And as you can see, this is very important, especially if you don't want to use the machine or you have something urgent that you want to interrupt the scan, you can always use this technique in order to save it into a file that uses the Nmap extension followed by the resume in order to resume your scan. Very important, especially when you're working with large targets as part of bug bounty hunting. And now we're gonna show you how to use Nmap to perform a vulnerability scan using the script Vulners, a very known script that you can download and add it to the repository of Nmap folders. We're gonna run a live scan on scanme.nmap.org and the way to do it is just provide it with the dash dash script the vulners as soon as you download this if it doesn't come with nmap and it will allow you to explore known vulnerabilities from the database specifically targeted at a website infrastructure so as you know 
using nmap is mainly to get infrastructure information but using the vulners as you can see from here can display vulnerabilities in formats like cve and other known vulnerabilities based on the database that it has giving you also the links for each one this is really important especially when you want to start writing a report and you want to go technical on what vulnerability is used performed used one of the most known scripts for vulnerability scanning and now one of the very important techniques, which is using the zombie scan mode, we're going to provide it with a script and we're going to use the IP ID sequential for the specific subnet that you can see, followed by tac tac top ports, which is going to check only for the most important ports, which is a very important technique that you use in order to bypass any mechanisms as you are using an idle and also known as zombie scan, which takes an IP address that is known and then it uses it on the scan so that it can bypass the whitelist of a system that has it defined, getting you more results about the port state and versions that have been used. And finally, we're going to show you how to convert the XML report into a human readable format so you can create really cool reports. So using the XSL TProc that comes with Nmap, you provide the XML results from the earlier scan that we did, followed by minus O where the file name you want to save to convert it into an HTML file. As you can see here, it has generated a very readable human format that is acceptable as part of an assessment, but also for you to see clearly and the recon team to study the results more thoroughly. So let us know what you think in the comments, if you knew some of these techniques or if you want to add on to them. Thank you for watching and as always, until next time. So also we want to give a big thank you to all our patrons on this channel on Patreon. So Patreon is a different and separate platform from YouTube where you can find exclusive content that you cannot find anywhere else. You can ask us anything in our Q&A sessions, be the first to vote on our next episodes throughout our polls and get exclusive hacking videos twice a month. Check the link in the description for more info.